Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to go over the origin of the most powerful Sa'angriao ever created in the Wheel of Time series, the Chorankao. This video will contain spoilers for book 1 through 4 of the series, so if you have not read The Shadow Rising, please come back after you do so. Let's do this. In order to defeat the Dark One and its forces during the War of Power, the forces of the light came up with different plans. One of these plans was to create two Sa'angriel that would be so powerful that they would be able to destroy the forces of the shadow. These two Sa'angriel became known as the Chorankao. The Chorankao are two giant Sa'angriel created by the Aes Sedai during the War of Power and they are so powerful that they could destroy the world. In order for the users not to die when using the Chorankao, the Aes Sedai also created the access keys, which are Chorangriao that act as buffers between the users and the Chorankao, and they look like miniature versions of the Chorankao. The two giants Saangriao can only be used by very powerful channelers, and one is linked to Saidin and the other to Saidar which means that only males can use one and females the other. But Louis Theron Telemann, the dragon, didn't want to use the Chorankao because he had a different plan in mind in order to defeat the Dark One. His plan was to strike directly at Chayogu and place seven seals in the Dark One's prison and thus imprison the Dark One once again. But an Aes Sedai by the name of Latra Posae opposed Louis Theron's plan because she thought his plan was too dangerous. Latra and the most powerful female Aes Sedai agreed not to take part in Louis Theron's plan. This agreement became known as the Fateful Concord. Unfortunately, the Chorankao's access keys became lost when the forces of the shadow overran the place in which they were being built. Thankfully for the light, the shadow never learned what the Chorankao or the access keys were for. Latra and the forces of the light tried to recover the access keys, but they were unsuccessful. After this unfortunate event, Lois Theron Telemann decided to go ahead with his plan, but without the aid of the female Aes Sedai. Louis Theron did manage to imprison the Dark One once again, but at a huge cost. The Dark One tainted Saidin and all the male channelers went insane, thus bringing the breaking of the world. The Chorankao was never used, and the access keys remained lost. Over time, the statues were mostly forgotten, but during the Third Age, Randall Thor encountered the male statue as it was being excavated near a village in Kyrian. Rand was very attracted to the male statue and he almost channeled through it. We then learn that the female statue is on a Seafolk island called Tremalkin. In Book 4 of The Wheel of Time, The Shadow Rising, Randall Thor goes to an Ail city called Rurion and he finds the male and female access keys. After this, Randall Thor now had access to the most powerful Sangriel ever created.